<laughs> Where's the net man? Let's go! He's nice. Now that's a giant. Finally happened. Oh man. Wow. Look at the payoff. Today we're up here on the Missouri River with Thomas Larson and he's taking me and Neil out to do some walleye fishing and then maybe get on some smallmouth and some other species but we've got an awesome day on the river and I think we're going to do a little bit of crank pulling so I'll switch over to Thomas and have him tell us exactly what we're doing. I'm going to put one up really shallow with a, with a planer board on it and uh, then the rest we're going to have lead core just right out the back of the boat. And uh, it's always a good sign if you can catch one before you get all the rods set. So let's see. <laughs> ready to catch them? We're ready to go. 1.5 feet, 7.6 or 7 feet, 1.5 miles per hour. I think that's a winning combo. <laughs> current and uh, trying to be just on the on the edge of it where uh, where the channel swings and we uh, we have lead core on most of our rods out deep and then we got one planer board up real shallow and uh, we're just trying to cover as much water as we can and uh, just try and figure something out and then we can duplicate it and uh, we uh, there's a lot of little stuff that you can do and, and it seems like with trolling the, uh, the more uh, things you can try, and then you got to remember how you caught one. That's the whole whole trick of it. Because then you got we have five or six rods that we can use, and then you can you can duplicate that. And uh, so that's why we're out here trying. We just started today, and we we have a lot of stuff at different depths. And as soon as we start getting fish, we'll uh, adjust accordingly. Yeah, you're about right. 
14. <laughs> How did you know that? Not quite. <laughs> no, year. it's right on. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. fish of the day so far. That's the biggest one? I think so. Get out of here. Biggest one. That's Listen, you can't get any better than this, <laughs> young man. <laughs> Believe me, you don't do this every fishing day. Well, I do. Well, you do. <laughs> I, I don't. Good job. Good job. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, he's going. We uh, got some good fish today. The, the walleyes weren't exactly where we thought they were, but we moved around and uh, as soon as they landed on them, we caught a lot. So that was fun. And uh, then the, the bass there, uh, seems like it changes every day with them too. Uh, they've been moving. I must have been. When we were catching them earlier this year, it must have been uh, in like wintering holes or something. And I can't, I can't tell if they're spawning now or what, but they're in a whole different area, and uh, that was a lot of fun too. So that was Neil and Garrett going out with Thomas Larson, kind of working up and down the Missouri River between uh, Lewis and Clark, and then up to Francis Case Lake. Uh, now we're going to get out there. It's going to be Ashley and I, my wife, uh, and Garrett as well. He's going to be behind the camera for the most part, but he's also going to get a line wet too. So let's check it out. Let's see what we get into.
Eater of the day. Here we go. Cool. All right. Hey, buddy. In you go. Score. Nice fish. All right, so we've been out on the water just a little bit, a couple hours. We're finally starting to get into them. We're with Thomas Larson here. Just got into a real nice walleye. Ashley, of course, reeled it in. You got a couple here early on. So what exactly are we trying to do here? What kind of tactic do you feel most comfortable with? We're in a kind of a river setting like we are. Uh, yeah, we're just got the, the plain old jig and night crawler on and it's uh, it's getting to be hot out. The water temp's like 70 some degrees and uh, this has been working good. We're just uh, right off the main creek <laughs> channel, but, but still got some current. So uh, the bites aren't very hard, but we're, we're definitely getting some. Isn't that amazing how sometimes the most simplistic thing you can do, just a night crawler on a jig, is really the way they, to go. They like it, yeah. <laughs> so, all right, well, let's get our lines back in the water and see if we can't reel some more in. Awesome. Ooh, something. Weird. He's got something. Yeah. Oh, it's a big smallie. smallie. A really big Good smallie. There you go. <laughs> you might want to get up there with me. I'm way out there. So. Oh, dude, that's a good looking one. Yeah, that was way up there. Might be the biggest fish I've ever caught. <laughs> it's like a pig. <laughs> it does look like a pig. Get away up there, yeah. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> nice. I'm shaking. <laughs> Where's the net man? Get in. The, you helped. Oh. All right. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Ashley still in the fun show. <laughs> that was a fun fight. Thomas Larson's putting them on us. 
Put them on, put, putting us on them. Is that how you say it? I think that's how it would be. All right. Well, I'm buying whatever you're selling. Yeah. <laughs> that's a nice fish. Love it. Finally on the board. All right, so we just wrapped up things on the Missouri River here. Had a pretty good day, really hot weather, a lot of fun. We caught a lot of different type of fish. Now, Thomas, you really kind of had things geared for us, laid out in a way where I could tell yesterday or what happened last night kind of had some input on that. Kind of tell us or walk us through your mindset or what led to how you rigged us up and where we went. Yeah, uh, it rained about two and a half inches here last night. All the creeks and everything flown in to the Missouri River were really muddy. and. Uh, we just went around and we're looking for uh, a little bit cleaner water. And that's that's kind of one big thing about the, this is a real river setting. There's sandbars and stuff everywhere. And just uh, being able to navigate and know where you're at and go from, from spot to spot uh, and just hit the places that, that potentially would have fish and just be efficient. We went and tried, what, six, eight different spots yeah. and, and finally had one here and there. And that's just kind of uh, real typical of, of summertime fishing here. Well, and you guys said something, you and Garrett said something there, like, let's not leave this spot. Let's not leave fish to go find yeah. fish. I mean, we were getting into all sorts of different, I was catching catfish, but it was still fun, but you were catching those walleye, so we wanted to stay there and kind of hit it until it kind of dried up. Yeah, yeah, they're all uh, eating the same thing out here, it seems yeah. like, so if you uh, can just get a few, you know, they're all a bunch mm -hmm. of different species in one spot, but that's kind of what makes it, makes it cool out here too, so. It is, and it's a lot of fun, something different, you know, you never know what's going to be on the end of the line. Yep. Speaking of that, there's a couple different walleye species, so we caught some sauger, some sauge. You kind of changed up the bait a little bit. Tell me about that, where we, we weren't just using worms and jig heads, per se, we kind of had some more fluorescent type of rubbers on. Yeah. Yeah, sauger seem to seem to like it gaudy. They're in a little heavier current usually, and out out deeper, and uh, don't mind dingy water that much either. So uh, you usually use a lot heavier weight, and then yeah, bright uh, plastics of some sort seems to work pretty good. Well, and you were talking about the rainfall, so it kind of stirred things up. A lot of cricks were feeding into the river, kind of stirring things up. Does that kind of set the table for a sauger day, or or what was your thought process behind that? Yeah. Um, Definitely, they definitely seem not to get affected as much by it. Uh, with uh, you know, they like turbid water, so maybe a little more mud or whatever washing in doesn't maybe it doesn't affect them quite as much. But we uh, we also found some clear water and lucked out and got some walleye too. So it was a lot of fun. Yeah. Well, hey, real quick, tell folks if they wanted to get in touch with you and have you to take them out on a guiding trip, which I would highly recommend. How could they get a hold of you? Uh, Thomas Larson Fishing on Facebook and Instagram is uh, the where I do a lot of my promoting. Otherwise, uh, my number is 605-237-1878. And uh, that's on those uh, two social media outlets as well. Well, Thomas, I'll be giving you a call. You can bet on that. So thanks for a really good day of fishing. I really enjoyed myself. Good. You took Go Ashley ahead. and Garrett and I out. We had a blast. Caught a lot of different fish. And for me, that's what really adds to a lot of the fun. Yeah, yeah, fun action. I appreciate you guys coming. It was a good time.